Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you turning in for the very first time, my name is Kathy Renee and welcome to my channel. So this is a look that I did here. Um, I went ahead and used kind of like uh, neutral tones and a little bit of purple tones out in the outer corner if you see here it was very difficult and also very scary for me because purple is a type of color that is really hard to blend but um i managed to do it i know you guys are gonna love this video you guys are gonna enjoy it you guys are definitely gonna you can do this um it's a process but um you guys are get, uh you guys are gonna love it you guys enjoy it but anyways enough of me rambling enough of me rambling on let's get this started so um enjoy the video so prior to starting to the video i went ahead and used the nivea men sensitive cooling shave balm as a primer all over the face i went ahead and used the dip brow pomade in the color taupe from anastasia beverly hill i also went ahead and used the la girl pro concealer in the color porcelain I use it to cut around the brows and also as a primer on the lid. We're gonna be using the Subculture palette. As you can see, it's used and abused. I'm gonna be going in with the color New Wave over here. As you can see, I already started. But what I'm doing is I'm just dragging it across. And sorry if I keep repositioning myself. I'm just trying to, uh, I'm trying out like a new thing. I'm trying out a new angle. I just want to make sure I'm focused and centered. And okay, so this is what I'm doing. I'm just dragging it across my eye, back and forth. And then I'm doing a little circle so we can go ahead and blend this out. Do this at your own pace and do it with a little bit of product at the time and trying to get like both eyes even. The next color I'm going to be using is Roxy. Remember to tap off the color. And then as you can see, I went ahead and started on my right eye. And we're still going to go in with the same motion that we have here. This is the back and forth motion. And then also blend it by little circles. And the little brush that I'm using right now is, I got this years ago at, at a, when I subscribe to an Ipsy Glam Bag, just a regular fluffy brush. It's nothing special, but this is the fluffy brush that I bur that I trust. Okay, going back in little circles. I'm trying to make it as even as possible at the same time. I think it looks pretty even. The next color we're going to be using is All Star. Again, same brush, tap it off. And then I'm just gonna be using this color a little bit at a, at a time in the outer corner of my eye. And just try to get that blend in. And this is kind of rough. Not rough, but this is like a little difficult to blend only because this is like a purpley base color and purples are very hard to blend sometimes. But, you know, if you do it a little bit at a time, it's actually really easy. So just do this at your own pace and a little bit of a time, at a time. And remember, we want to look blended. We do not want to look like a mess. And I want you guys to look gorgeous out there. I'm mean, going to get this, don't worry. This takes a lot of blending to do. Just gonna be eating this out. I'm doing little circles at a time. Oh, if I didn't mention it earlier, I'm using like tape on the sides of my eye. So that way, when we clean it, it'll be pretty easy. And it's okay if it gets on the actual lid because either way, we're gonna be blending that out. Next color we're gonna be going in with is the color Rowdy. So I dipped in the cutler. I also tapped it off because this is really, it's a dark purple. Remember what I said about purples? It's like really hard to blend. And we're just gonna be blending this in and out. Well, not in and out, I'm sorry. Little circles. Remember, always a little circle technique. 
back and forth works too. Remember, little circles for certain things like this. And I'm still using the same brush. So just be patient with it as well. Don't get, don't get too discouraged. Because you can definitely do this. It just, takes, it just requires like a lot of time and a lot of patience. And also you guys need like a good set of tools as well. Okay, and so you see like this may be blended here and this is like kind of patchy over here, but that's fine because I'm still gonna go ahead and blend this out. We're still not even complete yet. So just keep working on it and keep blending it at the same time. So I know I look wild right now. I went ahead and did the cut crease off the camera. What I went ahead and did and use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color light. And then to cut it, I went ahead and used the BH Cosmetics Brush 102. I don't have a code, but I used Rakuten to get money back. I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below. I definitely want you guys to take advantage, so click my link. Does it require anything? Get your money's worth, okay? Next color we're gonna be going in with is New Wave. And while this is still wet, press onto the color in the pan and then just start pressing it onto the wet concealer over here. You can also do this while dry, it is up to you. My preference is to still have it wet and it's okay if it looks a little crazy like this. As I said in the past, this is a process, but this process will definitely lead you to great results. So just keep packing it on there. It doesn't matter if it's harsh or anything else like that. We're gonna be blending this out anyways. See here? If you see how it's not perfect, that's fine. We're gonna be going over that. We're gonna be blending that out anyways. And the brush I'm going to be using is the Sigma Large Shader E50, I'm sorry, E60, E60. And then the same thing that we went ahead and did with the Wave, we're going to just going to be pressing that color in and just gradually building it up. So we're just going to be packing that in there patiently though. And just so you know, I have a code for Sigma Beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and link it below. You're able to get 10% off of the store site-wide. Right, and since I'm already here, I'm just gonna be blending this back and forth. Okay. Okay, so then, yeah, remember this is a cut crease that I'm doing, so I'm just gonna be bringing it down. Blending it down. It looks spoiled really pretty. I love this. This is like the I, I think this is a really good color. Adorn. Adorn. It's adorn. The color adorn is such a nice color. I feel it's like very it's very skin flattering for me. Because I noticed like some bronzes, some coppery bronzes, they make me look really weird. But I like this color a lot. Okay, so same brush same blending brush um no product we're just going to be going back in here and just blending it out as as we said earlier and you see how it's blending out pretty right now just do little circles at a time nothing perfect you can even go in here and blend it out that's fine so I went ahead and did and did my liner and my lashes off of camera. Um, I went ahead and used the Sigma Beauty gel liner in the color Wicked. I have a 10% off discount code. You can use it site wide. I went ahead and used the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush number three. I went ahead and got money back using Rocky 10 through the Sephora app. Get your money back. And as far as the lashes, I went ahead and used the Dallas Lashes from Lily Lashes. I don't know if you guys can see the name on there, but I went ahead and used that. Yeah, so last but not least, I went ahead and used the Duo Lash Glue. Um, I put it, before I put on my lashes, I usually put it on my lash line and then 
actually that's wrong. Before putting on my lashes, I put on mascara. I put it on the lash bands, my lash, along the lash line, and then wait, wait it out for like 30 seconds. And then I put it back on the eye and it's like really easy and it's, it's sticky. So you're gonna have to be like really careful about it. But I usually get it on the eye and it's usually no problem for me. So I know it's not gonna be a problem for you guys. What we're gonna be using is a Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the color 190. I went ahead and used it on my face already. We're gonna be blending this out with a wet beauty blender. I'm gonna be starting on this side. I don't like using my right side because I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like my right side is a very flattering angle. So we're gonna go ahead and go here. Careful with the eyebrows. You don't wanna get, accidentally get that. And careful with like the, our masterpiece over here. The next thing that we're gonna be using is the Beauty Filter Pro Filter Concealer in the color 190. It should look a little bit something like that. If not, that's cool. Do whatever you wanna do. Same Beauty Blender. Make sure she wet, make sure she's wet. You don't want her dry. She doesn't function well dry. And then we're just gonna be patting that on there. Just carefully, remember this is your eye. Your eye is like the most valuable thing on your face. Do this really gently, okay? On your own case too. If you guys can see me, great. If not, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to be editing my angle soon. Do her a little by little like this. She's gonna be all blended out. Next thing I'm gonna be using is the LA Girl Pore Concealer in the color Medium Beige. This is like a pre-contour. I never really tried cream contours before. Um, so the other day I had a doctor's appointment. I went ahead and did this as like a trial. And let me tell you, like it stayed on my face the whole time it was nice and really creamy so i recommend this i don't and um since i'm going to be blending this out i'm still using the same beauty blender um make sure she's wet we don't want to we don't want her dry because if she's dry it's not you know not gonna do us any good so we're just gonna be like patting it on there don't hurt your face either but patting her on here okay and then we're gonna be using, doing the forehead as well. And do it gently, of course. I don't want you guys giving yourself like head concussions. I want you guys to beat your face, but not, you know, really aggressive. Cause I don't wanna feel bad. I don't want you guys getting hurt. And then I have some on my nose as well. So we're gonna be blending her out. And then I put some on my, uh, I put some around my lips as well. Cause we're gonna look a little extra pouty. That was kind of funny. You know when you're first putting on lip liner for the first time and it's like all over the place? That's kind of what it reminded you of. I went ahead and, and contoured, or not contoured, I'm sorry. I went ahead and started baking with that Ben Nine Luxury Powder and OVO Banana. This is like studio. This is studio shit and it really works. Um, and then what I did was I used this little guy over here. I used it dry or I never done it wet. But um, yeah, it, this is something what I do. Um, I did the forehead, but me being really greasy, I already like slurped it all. Um, and so when I went ahead and did the, the, the cream contour with the LA Girl Pro, I forgot to mention that I didn't like the bottom of like my jaw over here and my chin. So as this is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out. Cause, and the reason why I do all this is because I like to look chiseled. I mean, I have a really round face. And um, I know we should like appreciate what we have, you know, but if I can enhance myself, I wouldn't mind doing that. And at the end of the day, if you love yourself enough, you love yourself to put an end to your insecurities as well. 
So I went ahead and finished blending out like, I forgot what this is called. There's a name for this, but I went ahead and finished blending out the jawline. And then um, it's been around two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like blend everything out. So I just got done um, t dusting everything off. I went ahead and used a B8 Cosmetics brush. I've used it so much that I forgot the number to it, but um, I got this using Racky 10, get your money back from the BH Cosmetics website. I'm gonna go ahead and link everything down for you below. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is going into the Morphe 8L palette. So my shirt is so filthy. I'm gonna be going in with the color over here, Debutante using the Morphe M572 brush. What I'm gonna be doing is kind of like smiling or doing a kissy face. You see where my cheekbones are? I'm gonna go above that to contour. And then this is gonna be a harsh line. That's perfectly fine, that's my guide. And then what I'm gonna be doing is blending that back and forth and then little circular motions as well. So it can be completely blended out. Of course, I'm simply using this little motion over here. Look funny. My t shirt looks like something like this. I'm gonna be doing my hairline, of course. Kind of brushing it back and then blend this into your hairline. And pull your hairline gently too. I don't want you guys having an accidental little face lift over here because of me. But yeah, just blend it out. I know it looks a little bit rough. I may have one a little stronger at one time. Did I even tap this off? I don't even remember if I did, but it's okay. We're still all gonna be blending that out. I'm still using the same color. Whoa. Yeah, I'm still gonna be using the same color, the debutante. I'm tapping it off. I grabbed a little bit only because we're gonna start on the nose. And then I'm just gonna like lightly go down and up and down here. And then over here as well. And go up and down here. And then I'm gonna I'm still gonna be using like the same color, same technique, a little bit at a time, dust it off. Actually, it's much more easier to look in the mirror here. Go down and kind of create that line, it's okay. Up and down, and then I like to do this. Just so we can look a little chiseled. I don't know why I always this every time I um I do this to my nose, always the left side, I'm so sorry, the right side of my nostril, like I don't know. I always get like the stipples. It's kind of funny. And then I'm going back and forth here just to blend it out. And then with the excess, I go like this. It. And then off camera, I went ahead and did the eyeliner. I used white eyeliner. I like to use white eyeliner because it makes your eyes like look bigger. That's just me. That's what I like to do, and especially to have like really hooded lids. And um, I like to draw dramatic wings. So white eyeliner, I think for me, works the best. And my liner is from NYX. It's just a retractable liner. And I went ahead and kind of poked my eyes, so sorry if I keep blinking a lot. We're gonna go back into the subculture palette. We're gonna be using the first two blending colors, which would be New Wave and Roxy over here. We're gonna be using the same two colors that we used in the beginning. The brush that I'm going to be using is the BH Cosmetics brush 136, 136. And again, I use the Rakuten link in order to get money back using the BH Cosmetics website. So I'm gonna 
carefully do this while this is still on film. I already dipped the brush into the palette and sorry if it's coming out like this. I'm just trying not to get my eye since I already went ahead and got my eye with the eyeliner and it kind of hurt. Uh, just go carefully at your eye, well, around your eye, outside of your eye, not in your eye, outside of your eye. Just carefully blend that out. Oh, still avoiding that eye. Next thing that we're going to be doing is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. And I'm trying to see which one it is, but I don't see it. But um, it has the color... Okay, it has the color Fiji, Seychelles, Tahiti, Zanzibar. I may have pronounced this one wrong, but this is what it has. And it also has directions over here. It says, number one, prep. Apply Fiji as a base to smooth skin and amplify light reflecting pearls. Number two, set. Dab Seychelles from cheek to temple to set, to set and bring out the pop. Three, sculpt. Apply Tahiti under cheekbones to add dimension and shape. Number four, flush. Sweep Zanzibar on apples over cheeks for a healthy glow. Okay, so this is like how to get a glow for dummies. Not for dummies, but it's something simple and easy to use. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So this may not be the right brush for this, but I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics brush. It's been used and abused, and but I got it. I got money back using Ebates. Okay, so I went ahead and just applied Fiji. P Fiji is like a cream base, so I'm just gonna, I guess, not a lot, but and then rub it into Seychelles. Okay, she glows. Oh, she really glows. I don't know if she glows because of Fiji or we'll see. This is without the Fiji, but she's still, she's still glowing. I'm gonna put her over here. Yeah, she glows. I'm impressed. Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and did my Cupid's bow, my chin, my nose, and then the other side of my face. Same palette. I'm still gonna be using the this shade over here. I don't know how to pronounce it. The brush I'm gonna be using is the BH Cosmetics. Just don't know the brush name, but um, again, I got it off of um, Ebates Rakuten. I got my money back. I'm gonna be doing it in the inner corner over here. And I'm gonna be applying this to the underneath my brows, my brown bone, whichever you may want to call it. So I went ahead and did my lips off camera using the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the color Nathan. I thought it just went all well. I like the way it looks, it's like a peachy nude. I like this. I think everybody should own a peachy nude. And last but not least, we're going to be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Shake it and then go all over here. It smells nice. So refreshing. Don't dry off just like I did. Don't do that. Oh, that nice and fresh. Same brush. Same highlighting brush. Just rub in so you can get that extra glow. Because you are our glowy goddess, honey. And there goes this look. Um, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Well, I know you guys enjoyed. I'm pretty entertaining. But uh, I really, this, I was just like, I was honestly really freaking out because of like the purples. Because those are really hard to blend. Because let me tell you, when I was blending that on camera, you guys, I was really scared. I, I'm glad that I managed. But, um, well, Good thing is that I I, learned, uh, I used a color that I was afraid of, and I'm glad that it turned out well. Um, I hope I know that you guys liked. I know that you guys enjoyed. Um, please like, subscribe to my channel. 
um, share with your friends and family. I even have social media. Um, I have Snapchat and Instagram. So please follow me on there too. Show your support. I usually comment back. Um, yeah, until next time, bye guys.